Reconstruction. The revolutionary period following the end of the Civil War and the abolition of slavery witnessed the birth of an unprecedented experiment in interracial democracy. As African Americans, under the protection of the federal government, embraced the promise of full citizenship and equal rights in alliances with white Republicans under the protection of a boldly transformed Constitution. But after only a dozen years, the achievements of Reconstruction would be systematically and violently overthrown, ushering in a vicious backlash of Jim Crow racism that would last nearly 100 years. The Reconstruction period is one of extraordinary excitement, a time when America could finally become that land of freedom that it had promised to be since the very beginning. For the first time, black men and white men were attempting to govern together. Amazingly, in South Carolina, the very first state to secede from the Union, voters, most of them former slaves, elected a black majority to the state's House of Representatives. So this is an incredibly heady moment, kind of like Barack Obama becoming president. Something like 1,500 black officials move into positions of public leadership. By 1877, however, the cost of protecting the freedoms of African Americans became a price that many white Americans were no longer willing for the federal government to pay. When Southern white governments begin thinking about disfranchisement, they have to figure out how to do it so that they don't violate the 15th Amendment and invite the federal government back in. Starting in Mississippi in 1890, a wave of state constitutional conventions rolled back the right of black men to vote through a series of diabolical measures, including literacy tests and poll taxes. In Louisiana alone, the number of black men registered to vote collapsed within six years from 130,000 to 1,342 when the Supreme Court ruled that segregation and disfranchisement don't violate either the 14th or 15th Amendments, the world of Reconstruction is done. And it would take generations for those restrictions to be overcome. With the passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act a year later. In the meantime, Jim Crow reigned supreme. 